Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Zach here again. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Walking Dead World Beyond. I didn't catch an episode one review, but we're going to be taking a look at episode two. It's out on AMC Plus now, so spoiler warning if you haven't seen it yet. And just a reminder, I am going for 100 subscribers at the end of the year, so if you would like Walking Dead content as well as some other TV-related content and movies, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to be having a lot more come your way. And yeah, so... Let me know down in the comments, are you guys looking forward to Season 2 of The Walking Dead Beyond? Because with that trailer about a month ago, we noticed that Jadis is in it, and we've been just waiting for more information about the Rick stuff. And it seems, seems like we're finally getting it. Um, so, we we have a couple different stories playing out, playing out in this, which isn't new in The Walking Dead right now. But Iris and Felix, well, Iris in that end of last episode was killed that CRM soldier and it cut off like with at that moment and basically now other soldiers are coming that way Felix luckily tracked her and will help her get out of trouble which I I call shenanigans I think I think the CRM could have the soldiers should have been able to notice what was going on in my opinion but I mean it's the movie so now they have a problem because they're staying at the perimeter where they have a neutrality agreement with the CRM but now like, they don't mess with the CRM, the CRM don't mess with them. But people that they're harboring that the CRM are looking for just killed one of their soldiers. So there's going to be big repercussions if that is to be brought to daylight. But Felix generates a plan. Now, ultimately, what we discover that plan to be um, after Elizabeth ends up um, going to the perimeter, which was really crazy. I thought they were about to get their cover blown. Um, but they found a walker that looked a, kind of like Will. I believe that they're going for Will's look and dressed him up to look like Will and made it look like they got into a fight with the soldier, fell off a cliff into the river and brushed up on the shoreline, kind of like the Rick thing when he blew the bridge. So I kind of felt a mild callback to that. It just kind of looked like it when you saw that him laying there on the beach. Anyways, like, that ended up saving the ass, but we, like get to see like even though that there's a neutrality agreement with the perimeter and the crm seems like elizabeth is really calling the shots like they still get kind of like their way regardless and I'm guessing because they have the stronger military force and what i'm wondering is because at one point in time like what we learned in the last episode is that they sabotaged and that's what and this is what's like really fueling iris because she doesn't feel like th that the walkers just kind of took over Omaha and the um, the colony. Something colony. But it, they, they, she just doesn't believe it when she's right. It was orchestrated. They led them there. They broke down Omaha's walls. And that leads me to believe that I guess they couldn't really, like, perimeter, even though they, I don't, they don't seem to be huge, but they don't seem small. So, like, I guess that they could, Honestly, that could happen to them, too. But at this point, it's just kind of a conspiracy theory that, like, the CRM set that up. So it's like they don't know for sure that the CRM did that. And I'm kind of wondering if the Commonwealth has an agreement with the CRM, which I'm going to make a... Once we find out some more, I'm going to I'm gonna make a video on that. I don't know. I, I just wanted some more information before, before I make it, though. Anyways, like, yeah, so I, I if I'm... Uh, Oh, what was her name? I can't remember her name, but the leader of the perimeter, the main one of their council, which they kind of operate a lot like old school Alexandria. I dig that. Um, if I was her, I would have kicked them three out, but she's going to allow them to stay. But yeah, like within a day of them staying there, Iris already broke through. Iris is acting real weird. Like, I don't know. I also want to point this out. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm actually, I, I liked season one. I thought it was a little wonky, but season one story was pretty good. But like, some of this acting is interesting, and I'm not trying to nitpick on Iris, but I don't know if it's writing, if it's the actress. I'm sure she's fine, but it's just like, I don't know. Some, so you'll get some of these scenes with the CRM, some of the older people, and some of even some of the younger people, and they'll be really good. But then you'll get some of these scenes where it's just like, I don't know. It's just weird. It's not what we're used to in The Walking Dead, and I'm not trying to be like nitpicky, but yeah, I'm just being honest there. But yeah, so we got this whole story arc playing where basically she she wants to have, like, Will wants to help them, like, with the whole war with the CRM and get them guys out, but he's, like, realistic about it. You, we got to do it the right way. And Iris is kind of, like, filled with, like, vengeance and war, and it's kind of weird. 
then on the other hand what else we got going on it was a lot with um a lot with hope getting introduced we start getting the curtains is starting to get pulled back on the crm we're starting to kind of get what they're about um the place before the fall was some research facility and she said something about research in dark matter or whatever um like this all kind of happens like we learn all this when hope gets to go on a field trip with his dad's girlfriend or with her dad's girlfriend which she's supposedly not supposed to know that at the time but she figures it out and yeah we're basically what we're they're trying to figure out is why they turn what makes them turn and what they could do to like make it so that the empties the walkers ain't a threat and in like the video or i i forgot if it was during the video that she was showing hope or if it was straight out said by um dr bennett that um they found this like it's, there's this like fungus on the skin of the walkers that slows down to decay and i think one of the things that they said in the video or in the show that they're trying to do to eliminate the walkers is reverse that so it like makes them decay faster so that, like i think within a day like they're not a threat by any means which it's an interesting at like way to look at it and you, you kind of like you you're seeing bennett's also getting frustrated because she he wants to he wants iris and felix to be at the crm safe and um and he's like kind of threatening that his work isn't going to be getting done if that's not the case because family is his priority and she uh, elizabeth kind of throws in his face like well we know you're sending them messages and we kind of look the other way and this and that and kind of like we know you're going to work for the greater good because we're trying to help um and we're trying to help the humanity and all that so like she's kind of like giving putting him against the wall we're finding out like hope also meets like she went right before she sees the video she was like wanting to creep and there was like this authorized personnel only closet she had to go to the bathroom but she was gonna sneak into this closet and this new character mason um is kind of there to stop her and kind of looks like that there's some flirt he's into her and doesn't look like hope's not like not saying no you know what i mean but um so there might be a little love interest coming on in this season with them but he ends up like well i'll break some rules for you and he opens the door and she's like really it's for a janitor closet more or less like just like a little utility closet wires mops you know that kind of deal and he's he's like yeah they're super strict around here and this and that and she finds out that basically everyone knows her name already because small place you would think what this research facility is not that big and you'd think it'd be more heavily guarded which i'm sure it's guarded pretty good to a point but there's a lot of structure and basically this place is dedicated to kind of like that walker problem i was talking about a moment ago so it's really i can't, I can't wait to find out more and figure out what why rick's kind of there and like um i'll talk about that in a minute also we get to see silas for the first time since last season and he's captured by this new character we're being introduced to um dennis and he's taken them to this place where they basically lure the walkers in every few times a week blow them up and then kill the rest and then they what it sounds like that ultimately there's a few places throughout new york that have this i think that's where they're at is in new york and i think ultimately what they're trying to do is rid the state as much as they can of walkers to start and kind of like you know rebuild like make it safe like and you know be able to regulate what's going on because only people passing away was hurting the walkers but if they know how to eliminate that or you know do the old knife in the head trick be good to go so there's that going on so and what we find out is dennis the guy that brought silas there i don't remember all the kids his name i'm sure we'll get to see them more but dennis is um one of the kids said to silas oh what because he, he found out that the research facility's closed he's like oh what you have a, a girl back there too that'll make two of you and then he's like two of us and I guess Dennis too, and it shows a picture. Apparently, Dennis and Huck have been a thing, so this this will be interesting to see. And like, we didn't get to see any of Huck in this episode, so yeah, we got that. Then at the end, we have Elizabeth talking to I think her name was Lila, the dad's girlfriend, Doctor Bennett's girlfriend, and like he she's like, we gotta keep, we gotta convince Hope because we need Hope to keep him motivated. And she's like, well, that's supposed to be your job. And he's, she's like, well, I'm doing the best that I can and this and that. And Elizabeth's like, well, I hope that's, you know, I hope that's good enough for you. Like, I hope you're doing good enough. 
and this and that. And then there was this weird thing because there's that test subject. They're like in her office, but they're in like this testing room where they have like a walker tied up. Doesn't look like rotted skin, so it's. I'm I'm wondering what they're testing. Like we know what what I just talked about, but something sinister seems going on in this scene. It's kind of like a weird like drop, not a drop off, but a weird ending. Like you can see that there's some darker stuff, but I do like that they're pulling the pulling the curtain back on the CRM a little bit. We can start to try to get an idea why rick might be there but we don't really know like he could be held captive he could be doing something like silas where he's clearing a bunch of walkers or maybe i mean he could have amnesia but what i'm really excited is like figuring out some of this that's going on with jada's going on with rick where, where rick's been what's caused rick to be up this far away is michonne gonna meet up rick i mean it's really cool but we have a lot of stuff going on with our characters here i really like the character of hope and felix really like will i mean iris annoys me but she's all right at times at times i think she has come a long way in the show it's just some of the way that they portray her is just kind of annoying but overall i'd say this episode if i had to like rate it which i don't usually rate each episode i'd say it's like like a solid seven out of ten like it's not crazy but i'm really the more information i get to find out about the crm and make pinpoint it with our with our group and the walking dead and rick and all that the happier i'm gonna be in like yeah i don't know i'm in it for the ride and fear starts back up here next week i believe so i'm looking really forward and we just have a lot of content to watch after a year with like no walking dead for the most part it's really refreshing really fun so let me know what you guys think are you guys excited for this season are you guys more excited for fear or are you just kind of buying time until the walking dead let me know down in the comments and yeah take it easy guys peace